Nice, nice. Great, good, good. Yep, we like that. Good. Just wasted that. Good. And the degree is wrong too. Here. So awesome. Welcome back to the Wake Up Property Series. You were way peppier than me about that. You were way more excited for this video. <laughs> I feel like you just weren't excited. On the Waking Up From Work podcast YouTube channel. If you've been watching this channel or you're new here, this is where we show behind the scenes of us renovating our 1850s farm in Maine into a recording studio, artist living space, Airbnb, and a place for us to live too. You'll see behind the scenes of the renovation process, small business, finance, mindset, and everything that goes into starting a home creative business and renovating properties. So in this video, what we're gonna be showing you guys is us framing our very first wall that we've ever built. So the Raptors videos was the first time we've ever done any sort of framing. And this was the first wall project that we did where we did something more vertical. Uh, this is probably the easiest framing project that we've done thus far in this build. It's actually half the work. But it still was challenging, one, because we had to learn everything as we went, but two, because absolutely nothing in this house is level, is plumb, nothing. Everything's slanted, everything's warped. So the base plate that we put down uh, the floor had a three inch dip in it, yep. so we had to measure each and every stud and make sure that it fit well. We had to rebuild this wall because we removed the original wall with the old, very small, flimsy wood to put in the new rafters, and we needed to replace this so that way we could have the roof be supported by something. Yep. So on this episode, really, really quick episode, just showing through us building a half wall to support roof rafters that we added in to an old home. You'll just get to see some of the things that we face in terms of that bowing and warping and the boards of an old house that we're dealing with to do a half wall to create that space for a vaulted master bedroom. Even though this was the easiest project, um, this spans over many months, this footage. This is many months worth of footage between us not having the lumber, family coming to visit, us not being prepared, having to drop this project and jump to other things that were more precedent yep. for plumbers and electricians. So like, even though this was the easiest thing I think we've done in this entire build, this still took months for us to start to finish product. So if you like what you're seeing here and you've enjoyed the channel, please like, subscribe, share, we appreciate you. Comment below and let us know what you think about it. We'll chat with you there. We answer every single comment. So thank you guys for watching. Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready to, to hustle. hustle. I see what you're saying. So the board isn't actually bowing. The board is straight. Mm -hmm. The floor is bowing. Oh my god, this is gonna be So we're gonna have to shim underneath this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's straight up an inch. Yeah. And that's mm where -hmm. we're Stop the floor. Probably, right? That's three quarters. Get us a lot of the way there. And then the cedar shanks.
So we gotta trim off a little bit, right? Yeah. Probably the half inch extra we did. Yeah, I wanna be conservative though. Quarter inch? Yeah. Nice. Nice stuff. Shake the house. Rock the boat. Shake the house. Suck a goat. 43 even. part two video we are trying to get all of this framing wrapped up so that way the electricians can come in and just install everything 
and we can be done with it because we got spray foam insulation scheduled and everything needs to be done before that happens. So right now we are trying to get a small wall built back here underneath these rafters that we put in to add additional support as well as finish building out this half wall here because as you see these are not 16 on center. We just left it like this so we can have access to this small wall back here. What I am working on is we want to lay down subfloor in here just to fill all of these gaps and cracks because we don't want mouse or any other type of rodent or bug to get in here and make it a little bit more sealed. So what they have is this cardboard back here and underneath that cardboard is just a hole to the kitchen downstairs. Since the kitchen is part of the farmhouse and this bedroom is part of the apartment, this is the two units being separated. We can't have any gaps in the ceiling like that for code's sake, so that way it's more fire safe, so it's not just like a chimney in the kitchen if there was a grease fire down there to burn down this bedroom up here. So we gotta seal off that gap, but we're not gonna make it look pretty because we'll never be able to access the space again, so we're just gonna do the best we can. Um, so my game plan is to just cut out these little pieces with the circular saw of subfloor, so I'm gonna get after that right now. wide all together? Maybe. It seems it to me. Yeah. Like I think like, I don't know how much needs to be taken off, but like a good...
thanks so much for watching. We hope you liked that video. It was a bit shorter for us. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, then you must have liked something about us, so you might as well go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell because we put out videos every other Friday, so it's a bit irregular of a schedule. And be sure to like this as well. Do all the things. You know what to do. Down below, let us know. That was like Dr. Seuss. Down below, let us know where the floor lax flows. Sure. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> in, the comment, in the comments below, let us know. I just rhymed again. Below, <laughs> no. Dave, you're ADHD. Do I always do that? <laughs> yes, yes, this is just your ADHD. Oh! <laughs> let us know down in the comments. How was your first framing project? How did it go? And what is the worst warping that you've seen in a floor for an old home? Cause that was pretty bad. Th about three inches of warp going like that. You've got a lot of movement with a marble if you drop it. So let us know in the comments. If you want to keep up with me in a podcast format instead of YouTube and listen to a bunch of interviews with other creatives, artists, musicians, and entrepreneurs, hang out with me at wakingupfromwork.com or check out the Waking Up From Work podcast. That's where I'm interviewing stuff weekly on those types of topics. Or if you want to hang out with us on Instagram, TikTok, at Dave Wake Up is where a lot of my day-to-day -day is, more music content and artist content there. Shoot us a DM, shoot us a comment, let us know what you think and what you're up to out there. Well, in the next video, it's going to be more framing because we've been doing a lot of framing. It's been many, many, many months of framing, so yep. be prepared. That's what you're going to see. But the next video is the hardest framing project that we have ever done of framing the closet in this bedroom, which doesn't sound hard, but dear God, it almost broke me. So be sure to watch that one in two weeks. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> His name is... Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. No, you're missing the key part. <laughs> you're missing the key part. I think I got the message. Wham, 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 wham. I didn't even hear the schwam part. His name is Charlie. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> His name. <laughs> Just do it yourself. I'm not going to. David. <laughs> In the comments down below, let us know what. I can't. <laughs> let us know down in the comments. What was your? F <laughs> I f fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> you just couldn't say it.